This is a Rainbow Six console guide to defending your bottom two sites on bank. Uh, to begin, you're going to roll with Malusi. You're going to make sure you have the shotgun equipped and a nitro cell. Malusi is key in slowing down the enemy attackers. Uh, to start, she's going to get the, the first uh, CCTV wall. This is just to provide you some cover when you're playing behind it, kind of like if the mirror was there. Your second object is to put down a Malusi to cover main stairs. This is in case they rotate and try to do a main stairs push. You're then going to rotate with Malusi, and you're going to put a Malusi charge at the base entrance of the dirt escape tunnel. This is the key. This is going to slow down almost all the attackers that are going to be pushing through dirt, um, and it will really make it difficult to push in. And then your last object is to go up top, reinforce your server room hacks. This provide cover for you playing on the blue stairs as well as anyone else below you. And your last Malusi is going to go top of blue stairs. This one is very important. Now you're going to camp the staircase and you can just peek that doorway. And when they run in, they get slowed down. The second operator we're going to go is Cade. Cade has one of the easiest jobs on this bank uh, defense. Uh, seeing that he can electrify hatches, your first job is to go up and reinforce them. You, you rather have a simple job to, to defend. Kate is kind of a flex op, but he is important in preventing them from opening hatches too early. And if they do want to open hatches, they, they got to use a lot of utility or get a Maverick or a Cali. But uh, you're, to start, you're going to reinforce your elevator hatch. You're going to rotate around and get Teller's hatch. This provides you some cover on the back side of sight. You know, the whole object of this defense is to prevent them from pushing dirt, which is usually where the main blunt of the attack comes. You're then going to rotate all the way downstairs. You're going to cade your CCTV room hatch. And then you're also going to cade the server hatch. This gives you excellent cover for the two most important rooms on this bottom bomb site. Now, you're not neglecting the back side. In order to actually protect the backside, you're going to have Cade kind of play a flex role on defense downstairs. He's going to guard garage and then rotate if necessary. The next op you're going to take is Maestro. Maestro is one of the more difficult operators to take. Um, he has a very complex role and has to do a lot. So you usually want to stick your best player on Maestro, or at least your most intelligent player. Maestro's job is primarily to get the two hatches at top. And then he's kind of to play around both bomb sites, watching both sides, and supporting with his maestro turn. So you're going to get the first two hatches up top. You're going to get the one in admin office and the one in open area. That's to provide cover for below so they don't quickly uh, drop on you from a hatch. You then rotate all the way downstairs. You're going to have two maestro turns to place. This first one, you're going to place over on this um, desk area. It's pretty well hidden, and the nice thing about this maestro turn is when you get on it, you can actually stop the plant, and it's pretty hard to see. I mean, you'd have to swing full in from the doorway to stop it. You're then going to rotate and put a maestro here by dirt. The point of this maestro is in case they take a montane or something and push in, you can get on that maestro and support the person playing in server room by shooting them. It's a really nice maestro. Next, you're going to impact over by a security hallway. And if you want to get real fancy, you make a double impact. This gets you a long angle, so you can play behind the bomb and support if necessary. So let's say in case your maestros go out or someone rushes the site. And additionally, you can also make a rotate between uh, your two, your locker site and your CC. The next stop you're going to take is, is Wamai. Wamai has the easiest setup, but he has one of the most complex roles, and it's very important that, uh, that Wamai stays alive and does his role correctly. You reinforce the two CCTV room walls. It's uh, pretty simple. It's just it's just a fallback just in case, so you have some additional cover in sight so that they have to waste more utility to push in. It's an extra layer of defense. But when Mai comes over, and it's very important that he has the shield. You're going to put your shield next to the server room wall. This allows you cover and to peek into dirt. From here, as the round proceeds, well, Mai is going to throw his discs at the top of the entrance to dirt. This is to waste utility. This also prevents them from shooting a, any kind of ash charges or grenades or any kind of destructive capability against your shields, your maestros, or your malusis. Because keep in mind, you have a lot of utility there. Jaeger, our next op and our final op, is going to be the key to wasting the enemy's uh, destructive capabilities. Jaeger's devices are going to really be key here. Uh, the first thing you're going to do with Jaeger, though, is you're going to reinforce in lockers. This is just in case you need some additional cover, in case you got to fall back to the site, mainly for Maestro. And this one's just in case the garage falls and Cades needs to pull back and cover garage side. Uh, once those two are reinforced, you're going to put uh, one ADS inside server room. You don't need to put two there. Uh, it's usually only one because well, Mai can throw his disc there. But this forces them to use a ton of flash grenades in order to push that Wamai well, in there. Waste a lot of utility. You're going to put two ADSs at top. This is mainly to cover the Malusi. Bomb 
This forces attackers to waste a lot of utility in order to push the blue stairs. Now that Jaeger has finished his fortifications, he's your flex roamer. He can play upstairs in a variety of different roles. He can flank operators from up top. He can also fall back down to site to help if they push somewhere unexpectedly. You know, let's say they push vault. He can rotate back down and now you have a third defender there. But Jaeger's a great operator for flanking. Now this defensive strat isn't foolproof, but uh, I hope it works and let me know if I can improve it.